Tuesday's tornado is just the fifth twister to hit New Jersey during the month of February since 1950. The Garden State has never seen a winter tornado in December or January. So joining me now to discuss this unusual weather event is Dr. David Robinson. He is New Jersey's state climatologist and a professor at Rutgers University. Thank you for joining us and good morning to you, Dr. Robinson. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So first of all, let's just start with this. We know that they're not common, but how unusual is it from your perspective to see uh, a February tornado in New York and New Jersey? This is quite unusual. As you mentioned, it's only really the third day that we've had a February tornado because there was a cluster of three back on a February day in 1973, and then one tornado back on another February day in 1999. So only three days since 1950 has there been a February tornado in New Jersey. Wow. Now, the National Weather Service has said the tornado was an EF2. So what do investigators look for when determining the strength of the tornado? Because I think that people on the ground are always like, oh, no, it has to be a tornado. And obviously, the investigators are looking for a very distinct pattern of damage. Can you talk a little bit about that? Exactly. They'll look for a path. They want a linear path um, that goes for some distance. This one went almost six miles. This was by far the longest tornado path in in February among those five February tornadoes. And they will look for a rotational pattern of the debris. In other words, it's not all pushed down. All the trees don't all go down in one direction. They give an idea of the circular motion of the storm. And they'll, they'll judge the wind speed by the damage to the trees, but also damage to buildings, because very rarely is there an anemometer, a wind sensor, in the path of a tornado. So they look at the damage to assess the strength of the storm. So there's a lot that goes into this assessment. This is done in a very methodical, serious manner. And, you know, this time of year, we often expect tornado activity in the south, but we've had an extremely warm winter. Um, could that be a factor in seeing a winter tornado in New Jersey? Yeah, that, that's a real great point. The atmosphere has just been loaded with energy, and really that goes from coast to coast right now with the storms that have affected the country. So this was an unusual amount of atmospheric energy. It came through with a frontal system associated with that storm system that's going in multiple parts through the country. Um, unusual, absolutely, and fueled, no doubt, by a warming climate, the warming temperatures we've had here of late. So it's a combination of uh, a foundation of warming climate, but on the day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week basis, it's weather patterns. Now, does this mean that we should, you know, infer anything about what it means for the remainder of this winter or if we can expect more tornadoes this coming spring? Yeah, it, there's really no connection. Tornadoes are rare enough in the mid-Atlantic states, particularly once we get to New Jersey and New York, that you can't look at a tornado at any time of the year and see it related to any other time of the year. They're just too rare, frankly. And overall, how abnormal would you say this winter has been so far? This, this has been one for the record books. I hear in New Jersey, we had a record warm January. We're aiming for a top 10 warm February, maybe in the top five. And of course, snow has been very difficult to find. We're at a record low pace of snow accumulation, at least through today. Um, that could change a week or two from now with a major storm. So that's not off the table yet. But looking back, this has been one unusual winter in the New York metropolitan area. And Dr. Robinson, I want to thank you so much. The New Jersey State Climatologist joining us this morning. I thank you. And of course, for all your latest weather updates, continue watching CBS News New York. You can also head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com.